Howdy folks, Wes here. I want to do a quick uh, show and quick show and tell video of the vinyl I've picked up in the last month. Uh, it's starting to build up here. Hopefully I can get through all this pretty quick. Um, <clears throat> first two records I found here at the uh, uh, Goodwill across the street from my house. This is uh, a Pete Fountain record uh, with uh, he did a uh, sort of like a Battle of the Bands type record with a, a guy called Big Tiny Little Mr. Honky Tonk. It's kind of an interesting album. I actually just listened to this. It's pretty good. Like I said, I've been... <clears throat> I do collect Pete Fountain. really like his music. He's a jazz clarinetist. Uh, he was on The Tonight Show a lot, and he was um, in the... Uh, Lawrence Welk show band for a while and actually got kicked out of the band for being too jazzy on one of the Christmas songs uh, so it's kind of an interesting kind of a rebel thing to do but anyways I, li I really like his, his music and his albums are very easy to find he's very, very popular and very prolific recording artist so and then second we have another Pete Fountain album Licorice Stick uh, I haven't listened to this one yet, but, and also he did a, he recorded on Coral Records, and I really, they just sound really good to me for some reason, I don't know, I don't know what it is, but his albums just sound great. The vinyl seems to be very, a little bit harder than standard vinyl, and it just sounds good to me, I don't know why. Uh, this next group of albums I got at a, <laughs> a local independent hardware store that's starting to sell used vinyl and they have probably four or five thousand pieces and I've been through I've been through most of it there's probably about a thousand left that I still haven't had a chance to go through they were they closed up on me the other day when I was there but uh, first thing I got here is uh, John Schneider Bo Duke did, a, did an album in 1981 which I didn't even know he did um, he didn't actually write any of the songs they're just all other people's songs that he's singing but I thought that was pretty crazy. Didn't know he did that, so had to pick that up. They were a dollar a piece. Uh, next one is Herb Alpert and Tijuana Brass, Beat of the Brass. Um, I'm not specifically collecting Herb Alpert records, but I'm picking them up here and there to listen to. Um, everybody says whipped cream is the best one, and I've been searching and searching and searching for whipped cream, and I could never find it. I don't know what it is. I just never, ever see it anywhere. So it's kind of an, that elusive thing that everybody says is easy to find and is great. Um, next up, we have another Pete Fountain album. This is uh, with the Sunsetters. Um, it's on Wincoat Records. Don't know much about this. But it's in good condition, the record inside is good, and thought I'd give it a shot. Next up we have the Kingston Trio close-up. Um, Kingston Trio is another group that I definitely want to collect everything of. The sleeve on this one's not in great condition, it's kind of splitting, but the vinyl is in good condition inside, and it's one I don't already have, so I went ahead and picked that up for a dollar. Next up, I picked up uh, Harry, another Harry Bralfani, which is, of course, another another one of the artists that I'm collecting all the all the albums from. Uh, Love is a gentle thing. This is a mono copy. I believe I have this already, but I wasn't sure. And for a dollar, I thought I'd go ahead and pick it up just in case. Maybe it's better than what I already have or whatnot. But pick that up. And last from the hardware store is Naked Eyes. It's a uh, 80s group that did Promises, Promises, and uh, always something there to remind me. Pretty well known songs there, but I picked that up as a dollar. Uh, next up here we got one that I picked up off of eBay. Uh, like I said, I've been collecting Harry Belafonte, and here is a sort of a, a another sort of battle of the bands, I guess you could call it, record that he did with Ray Charles on cornet. Um, it's interesting, I like Harry Valenfani, of course I like Ray Charles, who doesn't like Ray Charles? So, 
I picked this up. It was a dollar, a couple couple dollars with shipping. Uh, the the sleeve is in good condition, but it's splitting on the edges. Just old age, I guess. Records in con good condition. Uh, the next set of records here I picked up at a, uh, a flea market that's about an hour and a half south of here. I uh, went a couple weeks ago. It's not really in season for them. They're, it's usually more of a, a you know a fall winter time sort of thing when everybody comes south. But it is one of the largest uh, one of the largest flea markets in the southeast, and it's held on every Monday which is uh, kind of an interesting thing. It's in uh, Webster, Florida. Uh, first thing we got here is Johnny Cash at Folsom Prison. Uh, I have this on CD already, but it'd be, it's a good one to have on vinyl, I think. I think it'll sound be a good album to have on vinyl. And I think I paid a dollar for these also, so that one's a pretty fun one to find. Next up we have a Curtis Blow, Kingdom Blow. Um, you know, when I first got into music, it was all mostly hip hop in the in the mid '80s with Run DMC and everything. Is when I sort of started getting into collecting music, and this is a couple years before then. I think this is '84, but and this is also it's a it's a promo copy. Thought it was interesting. Anyway, Curtis Blow, Kingdom Blow. And we have the Cars self titled album. And next we have the Cars Shake It Up. Nice copy of uh, Good Bright Yellow Brick Road, Elton John. So I went ahead and picked that up. Definitely want to collect Elton John. Just a little triple gatefold there. Another Elton John, Blue Moves. This has a uh, sorry seems to be the hardest word. 